walk you through my workshop. Uh, this, let's start here. This is our centerpiece in the workshop, a watch, skeleton watch movement. As you can see, from there it goes to a very, very high-end, complete watchmaking lathe, which is a rarity nowadays. Usually you see in watchmakers just the lathe itself without extra tools. This has around 120 chucks with it and uh, the possibility to actually manufacture parts. Here you see an escapement uh, adjusting tool, equally a rarity where nowadays uh, nobody uses that no more. Uh, this Every single indicator of that uh, dial you saw was a thousandth of a millimeter. Those are my testing computers for mechanical and electronic watches. And uh, from there we go to uh, bench tools used in watchmaking. Uh, we have um, a pivot polishing lathe. This tool is uh, wonderful when you uh, create or make a drill in uh, new pivots into wheels. You can actually polish the pivots as well. This is a tubeling tool site where you can adjust the height of the uh, end shake of the wheels. Obviously we use microscopes to work on tiny little watch parts and a water tank for water testing. Then there is obviously in use um, an automatic binding machine which uh, for 72 hours the watches after repair are checked on the machine to actually check the winding mechanism. Our computing and uh, in the workshop at least uh, at last yeah, a manual pendulum regulator. This is a little treasure of mine to use in watchmaking as well. So we have all that and then from there we go to my polishing room where we use ultrasonic machines for the case the steaming machine to steam off uh, polishing dust if uh, polishing was performed and uh, the last shot will be then of course the the actual ultrasonic movement cleaning machine that's where the, the uh, all the dismantled movement parts go and the ultrasonic cleaned and dried and the last shot is my polishing machine where we do grinding and polishing of his parts.